An important difference between authorized and unauthorized media in the age of deepfakes. Deepfakes have been oftentimes associated with revenge porn or fake news. The term deepfake can be traced back to a Reddit user from 2017, known as deepfakes, who shared videos on the subreddit associated with deepface pornography. Recent research suggests that in the future, we'll be experiencing interactive deepfakes and compositional deepfakes. Interactive deepfakes are when people can seemingly talk to a celebrity, while compositional deepfakes will be used to create hordes of fake videos and visuals to compile a synthetic history. Deepfakes have continuously shown up in the news, most recently about celebrity deepfakes in ads and Bruce Willis. In the Wall Street Journal, you can find coverage of Tom Cruise, Elon Musk, and Leonardo DiCaprio's unauthorized deepfakes spreading after appearing in ads. There are also rumors circulating about Bruce Willis signing away the rights to his deepfake likeness. Not true. But is deepfaking an ethical practice? Vendors who specialize in synthetic media technology think so. What about authorized deepfakes used for business video production? They asked. Only a few use cases are malicious. They claim. Most deepfake videos are fully authorized and popular in enterprise situations for employee training, for instance. Or they may be created by people like celebrities and company leaders who want to take advantage of synthetic media by outsourcing to an AI twin.